Part one, creating an AWS account. We're going to build our test system using Amazon Web Services. This allows us to spin up virtual machines in the cloud on demand. Once you've signed up for an AWS account, you'll have access to all of these services through the AWS dashboard. Before you get access to your dashboard though, you'll need to create your account. To create your account, go to aws.amazon.com, click the sign into the console button. On the sign in page, you get the option to create a new user account. So you can enter an email, select I'm a new user, and click the sign in using our secure server button. At this point, you can go through the 10 steps to create your account. It's a very straightforward process, but you just need to have three things in mind. You'll need a valid telephone number. Amazon want to confirm you are who you say you are. Secondly, you'll need to provide a valid credit card. This is because Amazon again want to confirm your account and although you'll be signing up for the free tier they want to have your credit card details on record. Thirdly you just need to make sure you select the free support plan. Other than that walk through these screens for the setup and configuration and once you've completed the steps you'll be presented with your Amazon management console screen. On the Amazon management console You'll see a list of all the services that Amazon provide. Don't worry about this, it's less complicated than it looks. And for the purpose of this module, all we'll be interested in is the EC2 virtual servers in the cloud service. We'll be looking at these services in part two, which covers AWS fundamentals.